Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Chart Flow. In this video, we will learn how to create a WhatsApp chatbot for your fast food restaurant business. For example, you have a fast food restaurant in where your customers can explore menu, place an order and get contact support. Responsing each and every customer manually is a very hectic task. To solve this type of problems, we are going to create a WhatsApp chatbot. It will create it with the help of Pabli Chart Flow so that whenever your customers send a message to your WhatsApp business account, account then your bot will respond to them automatically to get more details about this let me take you to my screen welcome to my screen before starting the video of how to create a whatsapp chatbot for your fast food restaurant business let me give you a quick review about how this bot will work and how this bot will respond to your customer instantly by sending hi message in my whatsapp business account of fast food restaurant hi or instead of any message you can send here i send it a message See, the bot will respond to me automatically. Hi there, welcome to the official WhatsApp account of Pabli Fast Food Restaurant, where flavor meets fun. How can I help you today? While providing me three different options, that is check menu, place order and track delivery. If I'll click on check menu, then you can see it will respond to me like this while providing me one menu card with their prices. If I'll click on place order, then you can see it will respond to me like this while providing me one classic cheeseburger including their price and one button that is order now button. If I'll click on this order now, then you can see it will ask me for my full name. Here I am giving my full name. Here I provide it. Then you can see it will ask me for my address. So here I am providing them one test address. Here I provide it. After that you can see the bot will respond to me like this that order confirmed. Thank you Mehrus Khan for ordering with Pabli fast food restaurant. We have received your order and it's already making its way to the kitchen. We will connect with you shortly to share the payment detail. Now if I will click on track delivery then you can see it will respond to me like this that please enter your order ID to check the status. So here I am providing them one order ID. Here I provide it. After that you can see it will respond to me like this. So basically this is how your chatbot will work and this is how your bot will respond to your customers instantly. For creating this type of WhatsApp chatbot you have to follow step by step direction that I am giving you in this video. So let's we get started. At first you have to click on a new tab and search pabli.com slash chatflow. Here you are landed on the official page of Pabli Chartflow. Pabli Chartflow is an all-in-one WhatsApp automation tool which helps us to automate our WhatsApp messages and responses 24 into 7 by creating WhatsApp chatbot for your different type of businesses. Here on the right hand side you can see two options are there. The one is sign in and the another is sign up option. If you are a new user then you can click on sign up option. If you are an existing user then you can click on sign in option. As I am in an existing user so I will click on sign in option. See, these are the all apps that Pabli provide to their user. As we are creating a WhatsApp chatbot, so I'll go in the Pabli chat flow box by clicking access now button. Here you are landed on the dashboard of Pabli chat flow, where you can see your credits allotted, your credits consumed, your credits remaining and WhatsApp number added. With the help of this button, you can add multiple WhatsApp number to your Pabli chat flow account. If you want to know how to add your WhatsApp number to your Pabli chat flow account, then we have already created a separate video for it. I'll provide the link of the video in the description box. When you click on this, it will provide you two options that is WhatsApp Connect and Manual Token Connect. WhatsApp Connect might involve scanning a QR code or entering the phone number and verification code. The second one is the Manual Token Connect. When you click on this, it will ask you for Meta Access Token that you can generate from your Facebook Meta account for developer. Here you can also add multiple folders while in this home site Action, you can see the active status of your WhatsApp number that were added into your Pabli Chartflow account. The second feature is the inbox in where you can store all the messages of your customer and response to them by here also. You don't have to open your WhatsApp account again and again. The third one is the contact in which you can list off your WhatsApp contacts who interacted with your bot and you can see contact details, create segments, tag user, etc. The fourth one is the team queue in where you can assign incoming chats to different team members automatically. It will also help you to have a customer support team. The 
fifth one is the template. It is just like a pre-approved WhatsApp template. These are required for initiating a conversation if the customer has not messaged you first. The sixth one is the broadcast. It is used for sending bulk messages to many users at once. And it is also used for promotion, announcement and updates also. The seventh one is the flow in where you can create multiple WhatsApp chatbot with the help of flow builder. The eighth one is the AI assistant in where you can train AI assistant with a knowledge base to answer common questions. The the ninth one is the activity log in where you can see all the events and the action you have performed within last 7 days. The tenth one is the settings and the eleventh one is the get help. If you want to know more details about these features then we have already created a separate video for it. I'll provide the link of the video in the description box. I am creating WhatsApp chatbot so I'll go in the flow option. So this is the flow builder page where you can see your total number of flows, your active flows and your inactive flows. As we are creating a new WhatsApp chatbot so I am clicking on this plus add flow button. So this is the starting point of your flow but before this first you have to give the name to your flow that what you are creating. As we are creating a WhatsApp chatbot for our fast food restaurant business. So here I am providing a name. Here I write it. Now I'll give you a quick review about these two options messages and action. Under the messages you can see different buttons are there as well as under the action you can see different buttons are there. We will use this button in the creation of our flow. Here on the right hand side you can see two options are there. The one is active inactive button and the another is save button. With the help of this button your flow will be updated. Now let's we get started. There are the three ways to start your flow. The one is keyword, the second is regex and the third is to stamp plate. Keywords are the manually entered words that I expect that my user sends to me. The second one is the regex. Regex stands for regular expression. It can extract useful data from inputs such as email, phone number, order number etc. You can also enable this toggle if you want to activate some specific feature or behavior into your chatbot. The third one is the choose stamp plate in where you can create multiple templates and choose with the help of this button and upload it from here. Basically templates are used for those type of conversation that were started by your side. I am creating this whatsapp chatbot with the help of regex. So here I am entering the regex. Here I write it. With the help of this regex your bot will respond to the any message of your customer that they were sent to your whatsapp business account of fast food restaurant. Now I want to write one welcome message for my customer. For that I am taking one text button. It will provide me one message box. I will drag this box here and writing one welcome message for my customer in this enter message box. Here I write it while at the end of this message you can see I'll ask my customer that how can I help you today. So for answering this I am providing them some buttons by clicking on this plus add button. It will provide me one enter text box where I can write my first button as check menu. The second button I'll write as place order and the third button I'll write as track delivery. Here I write it. After that now I am connecting the starting point of my flow to the welcome message I wrote for my customer. By clicking on this circle drag a line and connect this line to this circle. Here our flow starting point is connected to our message. Now in the next step when my customer wants to check the menu of my fast food restaurant then they will click on this button. So my bot will respond to them. For that I am taking one media button. It will provide me one message box. I will drag this box here. Select media type as image and upload one image of menu of my fast food restaurant. By clicking on this and upload it from my gallery. Here I uploaded you can see image is uploaded successfully. Now I want to write one caption in this enter caption box that is our menu. Here I write it. Now I am connecting the circle which are present in front of check menu to this message where I uploaded my fast food restaurant menu. Here it is connected. Now the second one is the place order. If my customers wants to place an order in my fast food restaurant then they will click on this button. So my bot will respond to them. For that I am again taking one media button. It will provide me one message box. I will drag this box here. Select media type as image and upload one image of burger that are available in my fast food restaurant. Here I upload it. After that in this enter caption box I will write the price of this burger. 
here i write it now i am giving them one button to my customer so that whenever they want to order this burger from my fast food restaurant then they will click on that button for that i am clicking on this plus add button it will provide me one enter text box where i can write my button as order now here i write it after that i am connecting the circle which are present in front of place order to this message i write it here it is connected now if my customer wants to purchase this burger from my fast food restaurant then they will click on this order now button for that at first i want to know the name of my customer then the address so here i am clicking on this action option choose button as ask question it will provide me one question box i'll drag this box here and writing one question for my customer in this enter message box that please provide your name here i write it see please provide your full name now in this select contact custom field i'll select as full name i already created this field before if you want to know how to create a contact custom field into your pabli chart flow account then we have already created a separate video for it I'll provide the link of the video in the description box. The format I'll select as text. Number of attempt I'll give as one, and you can also write any validation message in this enter validation message box. Now I am connecting this circle to this message. Here it is connected. After that, when my customer will provide me their full name, then I want to know about their address. For that, I am again taking one ask a question button, drag this question box here, and entering the message that please provide your address. Here I write it. After that, in the select contact custom field, I'll select as address. The format I'll select as text. Number of attempt will be one, and I don't want to write any validation message, so I am leaving this blank. After that, I'm connecting this circle to this message. Here it is connected. Now, after that, when my customer will provide me all of these details, that is their name and their address, then my bot will respond to them. For that, I'm clicking on this circle, drag a line, choose content type as text. plus button it will provide me one enter message box where i can write my respond message that is order confirmed here i write it you can see i use the dollar symbol before full name because with the help of this symbol my bot will respond to my customer by their name as different customer have different names so sending their manual names we will use this symbol you can see i'll also use this asterisk symbol because with the help of this symbol this message will go to the whatsapp account of my customer in the bold form format Now the third one is the track delivery if my customer wants to track their food delivery then they will click on this button so my bot will respond to them for that i am again clicking on this ask a question button it will provide me one question box where i can write the message that please provide your order id see here i write it i'll select the contact custom field as order id and the format i'll select as any after that i am connecting the circle which are present in front of track delivery to this message i write here now in the next step when my customer will provide me their order id then my bot will respond to them for that i am clicking on this circle drag a line and choose content type as text plus button it will provide me one enter message box where i can write my respond message here i write it here you can see i write this as an example you can create many changes in this workflow according to your needs Here our flow is completed. After the completion of your flow, you have to click on this button save button so that your flow will be updated. So this is the final look of your flow for creating a WhatsApp chat bot for your fast food restaurant business. This bot will respond to your customer like this. It can take order from your customer instantly. This bot is created without requiring any coding or programming skills. It is only possible with the help of Pabli Chart Flow. So thank you for watching this video. Not only this, you can create multiple types of WhatsApp chat bot with the help of Pabli Chart Flow. If you have any doubt, then you can email us at support at the red pabli dot com. If you have any queries, then you can text us at forum dot pabli dot com. If you want to know the price details about Pabli Chart Flow, then you can visit www dot pabli dot com slash chart flow. So go and create your Pabli Chart Flow account and start creating your first WhatsApp chat bot for free.